friends, it's Miss Debbie. I'm so glad to be able to be with you. I have a very special story that I want to share with you. It's right out of the Bible and some fun songs because what's coming up, do you remember? Easter, right? And so uh, that's what our whole talk today is going to be about, celebrating that Jesus is alive. It's so exciting. Well, why don't we start out with our opening song, okay? And maybe you don't know all the words, but that's okay. You can just go ahead and do the actions with me. That'll be fun. All right. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Little Sprouts is starting now. Oh, good job, you guys. All right, I thought we would start out today playing a little game. I've got some Easter eggs up here on my board and they're all different colors. All right, so maybe you can help um, to figure out, help me figure out what the colors are. But do you know there's something hiding behind some of the eggs? So maybe we can find out what that is, all right? All right, let's get started. <clears throat> if I can, if Miss Debbie can remember the rhyme. All right, little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you under the green egg? Let's take a peek. Oh, nope. There's nothing under the green egg. Did you know that color? Good job. That's my color of my shirt, isn't it? All right, little chick, little chick, playing hide and seek. Are you under the, what color is this? The yellow egg? Let's take a peek. Oh no, I'm not very good at this. I need you here. All right, let's try another color. Little chick, little chick, playing hide and seek. Are you under, let's try, what color is that? That's like coffee, isn't it? That's brown. Are you under the brown egg? Let's take a peek. Oops. There's some, there are some chicks. Can you count them with me? One, two. Two chicks under the brown egg. Hey, we, we hit a gold mine there. All right. Little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you behind the orange egg? Let's take a peek. Ah! None under the orange egg. Oh my goodness, all right. All right, but we still have lots of eggs, right? All right, let's try another color. How about this color? Does anybody know that color? I think that is, you could call it a light green or maybe like a turquoise, right? All right, little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you behind the turquoise egg? Let's take a peek. Oh, oh my goodness, none under there either. Huh. Little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you behind, let's try this one, should we? What, what color is that? Dark pink egg? Let's take a peek. Oh, yes! Hallelujah! <laughs> we found another chick. Okay. Little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you under the, let's try the light pink. The light pink egg? Let's take a peek. Nope. Oh my goodness. Little chick, little chick. Playing hide and seek. Are you under, did we do that? I don't think so. The red egg, no. Oh man, let's take a peek. All right, now I know the blue one. I was saving that for last because that's my husband's favorite color. All right, little chick, little chick playing hide and seek. Are you under the blue egg? Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness, I knew it. How many chicks are there? One, two, three. Three chicks. Oh my goodness. Let's count all the chicks that we have on the board, shall we? Can you count with me? One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Good job, good job, boys and girls. All right, well, that was our fun little um, egg game. That was pretty nice. Let's take just a second and get all of these off of there because we're gonna do something else with the flannel graph a little bit later. All right, okay. Um, I brought some shaker eggs. So I don't know if you have shaker eggs at home, but maybe you have something else you could shake. Maybe a rattle or a maraca, um, or maybe you can find a plastic egg like this one and put something in there and shake it. That'd be fun. All right, so we're gonna go. Let's shake our eggs together. Let's shake our eggs together. Let's shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. Let's shake them up high. Let's shake them down low. Let's shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. Let's roll our eggs together. Let's roll our eggs together. Let's roll our eggs together because it's fun to do. Let's roll them up high. Was out of tune, sorry. Let's roll them down low. Let's roll them in the middle because it's fun to do. <laughs> All right, good job, you guys. So many fun things to do. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, if you were here with me and we were talking, um, and I would say, Jesus is, and then you would fill in the blank, you would finish the sentence, what would you put in there? I was thinking about that this morning, and I might say, Jesus is good, right? Jesus is good. He's so good to us. What else could we put in there? Jesus is big, right? Because, I mean, he made the whole world and space and everything. Um, what else could we put in there? Jesus is with me all the time. That's right. He is always with me, right? He's always with you. So there's lots of things we could put in there, but I was thinking, since it's almost Easter time, a good word to put in there would be, Jesus is alive, right? Hallelujah, he is alive. And then I wanted to talk with you about what does that mean? What does it mean if something is alive? So I brought two friends of mine for you to meet and uh, so that will kind of maybe show you what I mean by alive. The first friend I want to introduce you to is my Tina Bunny. Isn't she cute? She's so sweet. She's all dressed up for Easter in her pink dress. This is Tina Bunny. And did you see Tina has two eyes? She has a nose. She has a mouth. She's got two ears. They're so cute, right? and two arms, and so in a lot of ways, she's kind of like me. I have two eyes and two ears and a nose and a mouth. And do you know Tina can talk? I didn't know if you knew that, but when I, there's a sticker right here, it says on and off, and if I push that button, let's, let's hear what Tina says. I'm ready for you to read me my story. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? So anytime I want, Tina to talk to me. I can just push that button and she'll talk to me. She's a fun bunny. She's a nice friend. All right. And now I'm going to show you or introduce to you my other friend. Kenzie, can you come here? Come here, buddy. This is my dog named Kensington. Kenzie, can you sit? Let's see. Maybe, you, let's see if we can, if you can come around, turn around this way. There you go. Now sit, sit. All right, and I've got some of his favorite treats, so we'll see if he'll do some tricks for you. I don't know if he's camera shy or not. We'll see. All right, Kenzie, can you speak? Ruff. 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 All right, good boy. All right, let's see. Kenzie, can you shake? Oh, good job. How about the other foot? Oh, you're so smart. Good boy. All right, good job. Kenzie, can you jump? Oh, that's good, Kinsey. 
So see, he's so much fun. And did you notice Kinsey has two eyes and he has a nose. And when I ask him to speak, or speak, good job. He'll speak, right? So he talks to me too. We've got one more. Let's see, what else can you do? Um, you can go way down, but then they can't see you, I don't think. Okay, we'll just give you that. So this is Kensington, and maybe we can bring him to class sometime. You can meet him. He's so soft, and he loves to go swimming. But he's my other friend. So uh, between Tina and Kensington, which one would you say is alive? One of them is alive, and one of them isn't. All right? Oh, he's scratching. And he moves all the time, right? And you know, Kenzie breathes. He goes <sighs> He breathes, doesn't he? And you know, when we first got him, he was only this big. And then he grew and grew and grew and grew. And now he's this big. He's a big doggy, aren't you, Kenzie? Yeah. So when something is alive, we can tell it's alive if it moves, if it breathes, if it grows, right, that is something alive. And do you know my very, very best friend is Jesus? I know you know that because I tell you all the time. And my Jesus is alive. And that's why we have Easter. We celebrate that he is alive. Just like Kensington, just like me, um, just like you, he bre uh, Jesus breathes, Jesus grows, Jesus talks to me, talks to you. He is alive. He has a good plan for us. All right, so on that note, let me see. Um, I don't want to get us oh, um, away from my plan here because I don't want to forget anything. All right, I brought a scarf. Now, I don't know if you have a scarf at home, maybe your mom does, but ask her, okay, before you use it. Or you can get a tea towel out of the kitchen or um, a t-shirt even, uh, doesn't matter, just something to wave. And uh, just like um, they did in the Bible time, they waved, not scarves, but they waved branches. That's another thing you could grab. But anyway, this, this song goes, Alive, alive, Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Jesus is alive, 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 alive forevermore. Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Because we get excited because Jesus is alive, right? Amen. Because it's exciting to have a God who made the universe and made us that we can talk to, we can walk with him, he can be our best friend. And that's exciting because he's alive. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and share my special book with you. And I'm gonna sit on the stool here, so I'll make sure I stay in one place. All right, and this is a book I found at my library. Can you believe that? And it's about Jesus. It's right from the Bible, and it's so exciting. And this one is called That Grand Easter Day. And the author, that means who wrote it, is Jill Ramon Lord. And there's beautiful pictures. So, let's get started. I think you're gonna like this one. Bye. Oh, bye, Tina. <laughs> okay, and this book starts right with a scripture from the Bible. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. And we find that in John 3.16. All right, and what do we see a picture of here? Do you know what that is? That's a cave with a stone in front of it, right? This cave is called a tomb. All right, so this, let's get started. Okay, it says, this is the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is the stone. And it's huge, isn't it? it? Covers the door. This is the stone that blocked 
the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose at that grand Easter day. We know this book's gonna end well, don't we? This is the man all grumpy with gloom who stood with his sword in front of the tomb and guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. <gasps> this is the Easter bunny. This is the bunny that munched on a bloom near to the man all grouchy with gloom who guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. Do you see the bunny? He's eating that flower, isn't he? Oh, look at these. These are the ladies with spices and perfume to pour over Jesus who lay in the tomb. They were Jesus' friends that had come to take care of his body as it lay in the cave, in the tomb. They strolled past the bunny that munched on a bloom next to the man all grumpy with gloom who guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. And do they look happy? Does Jesus' friends look happy? No, they don't, do they? They're sad because Jesus was laying in that tomb. This is the angel, all in radiant light, who said, he's not here. There's no need for fright to the ladies who carried their spices and perfumes. But scared the man, the grumpy man who fled with a zoom, leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom all alone by the stone that was now rolled away revealing the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. So exciting. Let's see what happens. These are the disciples who heard the good news, then raced to the site with no time to lose. They heard that Jesus was not in the tomb, and so they are racing over there to see. They found the tomb empty, just linens as clues. Gone was the angel who sat by the tomb and spoke to the ladies with spices and perfume, but startled the grumpy man who fled with a zoom. Leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom alone by the stone that was now rolled away, revealing the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is Jesus Christ, who gives us life anew. He rose up on Easter for me and for you. He left the tomb empty, just linens as clues, found by disciples who had heard the good news. Gone was the angel who had sat by the tomb and spoke to the lady with spices and perfume, but startled the grumpy man who fled with a zoom leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom alone by the stone that was now rolled away, revealing the place where Jesus first lay, where he arose on that grand Easter day. Oh my goodness, here we see Jesus talking to his good friend Mary, and he's showing her the holes in his hands because where he was on the cross, and she knows it's him. Jesus Christ arose on that grand Easter day. And I love this picture because it shows Jesus with all the children and playing with the animals. And everybody's so happy because Jesus is alive. Can you say that with me? Jesus is alive. Woohoo! <laughs> that is the best news, isn't it? All right, and we've got one more page. It closes, this book closes with another scripture, and it's words that Jesus said. He said, I have come that you will have life and have it to the full. And that's in John 10, 10. 
That's right. So we don't have to worry about Jesus being in that cave all by himself. He's not. He is a ro he arose and he's living, he's alive, and he walks and talks with us. All right, wasn't that good? That was such a good book. All right. Now I want to share another uh, song with you. I guess I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna get this so I <clears throat> remember what it is. Okay, it, this song is called God's Not Dead. He's still alive, okay? So it goes like this. God's not dead, he's still alive. God's not dead, he is alive. God's not dead, he is alive. I feel him in my hands, I feel him in my feet. I feel him in my heart, I feel him in my soul. I feel him all over me. God's not dead, he is alive. God's not dead, he is alive. God's not dead, he is alive. I feel him in my hands, I feel him in my feet. I feel him in my heart, I feel him in my soul. I feel him all over me. Oh, good job. Wasn't that a good song? All right, because that's the truth. He is alive. Okay, um, I've got one more little story for you, or a talk, and then we're going to talk about a craft, and then we'll be done. So stick with me here, because I think you'll like this. Um, you've probably noticed outside, right, um, that it's almost Easter time, and have you seen all the beautiful flowers that are blooming outside? I mean, uh, I go on a walk with my little grandkids, Evangeline and Abby. Hi, girls. And uh, we see all these flowers, and you know, we just want to pick all of them, but they're so beautiful. Well, I want, I don't know if you have ever, you know, uh, thought about it, but every flower starts with what? Whoops, that's kind of fuzzy. Can you see what that is? It starts with a seed, doesn't it? And the seed, you know, it looks all dried up, and most seeds do, they look dried up and, and like nothing could ever come from that. But if you put a seed into the ground, and we're gonna put this right there, and pretend like we're planting it in good soil, and you just leave it, you gotta be patient. You gotta leave it, you put some water on it, or let the rain rain on it, and the sun shines, and pretty soon it starts growing, but it grows down first. And it grows its root system, doesn't it? Have you ever heard that? The roots grow. And do you know what those roots do? They bring up more water to the plant from deep down in the ground, and they bring nutrients and food for the plant. So then pretty soon the plant will start growing up. And do you know what this part is called when it grows? Have you ever heard the word stem? The stem starts growing, doesn't it? And usually it's green, all right, like that. And so it starts growing up and pretty soon you'll see, do you remember what these are called? You'll see these popping out. These are called leaves, aren't they? The leaves start pumping and popping out. And they're stretching out like this because they want um, to get all the vitamin D from the sunshine and get all the rain they can for the plant so it'll keep growing. And after a while, if you're very patient, you'll see a beautiful thing will come on the top and that is the flower, the petals, right? And, uh, and that is just a beautiful thing. But you know, first, the seed, in a sense, it had to die, didn't it? It had to go into the, into the ground, and, and we had to be patient, and then it grew. And that is, um, you know, we could kind of say that's kind of like the story of, um, of Jesus. And here's just some little flannel. <clears throat> Remember, um, We've talked about this before in our little sprouts too, that Jesus died on the cross, right? Let me see where my little Jesus And Jesus died on the cross. 
and it was, you know, we don't like to talk about people dying because it makes us sad, and it really was sad when Jesus died on the cross, but he did that so that he could pay for our sins, and then we could ask him into our heart, and um, he would come into our heart, and then we can live all of eternity with him. But he died on the cross, and then his friends put him in the cave. And let's put, um, I have another stone since that one doesn't move. Let's put that in front of there. All right, and, and remember he was in there for three days and three nights. And then um, all of a sudden on the third morning, uh, there was an earthquake, the Bible says, and everything was shaking, shaking, and the, um, that's because the power of God came into Jesus' body. Let me find my Jesus here again. There he is. The power of God came into Jesus' body. The stone rolled away. Jesus was alive again. Woo! So happy, so exciting. All right, and then remember, um, I said it was an earthquake, and the Bible says, I'm going to move this one out. The Bible says that some of the grumpy soldiers uh, ran away, and we're going to have this one fall down, because the Bible said some of them could, fell down and couldn't even move. And then the angel was by the tomb, an angel of God, and when Jesus' friends came, because they wanted to uh, put spices on his body, they came and they said they, they were wondering where Jesus was and the angel said why are you here Jesus isn't here he arose he is alive and um, they just started rejoicing and running around and they were so happy and we know the Bible says that Jesus showed himself to them and they were so excited that Jesus was alive okay so that was our time today, boys and girls, and I was so excited to share the Easter story with you. And before we go on, I, I do want to show you a special craft you can do at home, but I want to make sure that all of you have had the opportunity, the chance, to ask Jesus into your heart, because He is alive. And when we ask Him into our heart, and He cleans up our heart and takes away all the sin, then uh, it just makes us f full of joy and happiness and it help He helps us to be a nicer person. Um, he fills us with love and then we love people. So I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to pray and ask Jesus in your heart. So if you haven't ever done that or maybe you want to do it again, Let's fold our hands, shall we? And why don't you pray after me? You can say, Dear Jesus, I love you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for raising again and now you're alive. And Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Take away all the bad stuff. Wash me clean and help me to live for you every day of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Hold, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I love you. Amen. And it's as simple as that, boys and girls. And like Pastor Barb says, the Bible tells us that all of heaven throws a big party when we ask Jesus into our heart because they are so excited for us and that we know the, the alive Jesus and that one day we'll be up in heaven with everybody else and we'll have such a good time. All right, so I wanted to show you a craft that you can do. I'm going to show you how it looks all done first and then I'll show you the different pieces. So this is our, this is just a cup and this is our cave with the stone and but inside and you can say this um, as you're playing with it but you can go Jesus is alive look at that there's our Jesus all jumping up and down and so excited to be alive Jesus is alive all right what you need to get is one of these cups and you need to have one of your grown-ups 
put um, a little cut right there. Don't you try to do that, okay? It's too hard, they're too tough. But ask uh, mom or dad to put a cut right there. And then you want to make um, a cave. And you can do it any way you want to. It's gonna be good just like you make it. And a stone to be in front of it. And then you glue that to your cup like that. And I just used uh, stick glue. That's fun to do. And then draw a picture of Jesus. I kind of cheated. I found this on the internet. And, but you can draw your own Jesus. That would be wonderful. And then get a, like a popsicle stick, a big one or a small one. And you're going to take your stick glue again and glue that right there. And then push that up in your, um, in your little slit there. And it's very easy. And I know you guys can do that. Jesus is alive! <laughs> so fun. I am so um, happy that we got to spend this time together. Thank you uh, for listening so well and singing with me and playing the games. But the thing I want you to remember is that Jesus loves you and Jesus is alive. Okay? All right. Remember my friend Kensington? Kenzie. He's right here. Let's see if he'll stand up. Come here. All right. Just Jesus is alive, just like Kensington. All right. I'm not sure if you saw him, but um, anyway, let's do our closing rhyme together, shall we? All right. Let's stretch up high. Tickle the stars. Let's tickle our toes. Down low. Turn around and tickle your nose. Jump down low. Jump up high. Little Sprouts is over. Wave bye-bye. All right. Happy Easter's, Easter, boys and girls. I love you. Bye.